everybody, it's Uncle Paul. It is Saturday, uh, close to three o'clock in the afternoon, and the temperature's in the mid to upper 60s, and it feels wonderful out here. Now, before I get to the review of the wallet, let me share with you something I got in the mail just earlier this week, and that's from 46 Clients. You remember the charity? The charity that I hiked for and uh, y'all helped me raise money for, for suicide prevention. They sent a patch. They sent us a patch and uh, it says down here, the last line of this little letter, we would like to thank you and present you with a 46 Climbs 2022 patch for raising over $250 for AFSP this year. So nice little patch here, which I don't think they've done that before. Uh, it's because I've raised over $250 the, the first two times, but this time we raised $610. Yeah, so they sent a patch. So that's great. Thank you, 46 Climbs. Thank all of y'all once again. Now to the review. Now, before I went out on the Appalachian Trail in 2017, of course, I did a lot of research and, and researched gear and, and purchased all kinds of things, of course. And one of the things I purchased was a Z-Pax wallet or a, a wallet zip pouch, I think they call it. And they've got different types of pouches now of different sizes similar to this. Uh, but I don't think they had, back five years ago, they didn't have uh, so many choices. But this is made from Dyneema and it is big enough to hold you know, uh, my license and a credit card and uh, a little bit of cash and some things. And so when I got back from that trip in 2017 to the Appalachian Trail, I just got rid of my uh, leather wallet that I'd had for many years. And I just started carrying this around all the time. Now, it is worn, you know, five years of everyday use. It is definitely worn. You can see how, you know, the, in, the corners there, uh, they're definitely fraying pretty badly. However, nothing's gonna fall out anytime soon. So it's gonna last a, a good bit longer. Same with the corners up here. And you can see how, how fuzzy the top is and, and it's getting thin, but these corners are, are fraying as well. So, but it's still got life in it. Now, I watched a video back in 2017 before, while well, I was doing research. And, and so uh, this one, hiker said he bought two and he carried license card and cash in one kept it on his person he carried uh, a card and some cash and other info and another one and put it in his backpack so if he lost one you know he wasn't just totally out out of uh, money i thought that was a good idea so i got two so once this gives up whenever it does then i will be using this one and there's something in this one hmm it must be from, because I took it with me on my last trip this past summer up to um, hike on the Appalachian Trail up to the Discerning Hiker hostel, hostel. And let's see. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is from that. There's two phone numbers on here. One is for Smokey Bear, uh, who uh, we called one night. Uh to uh, for a shuttle to get home <laughs> to get back to the hostel and you know that was a wild ride down that mountain he drove so fast uh and what was funny ken was in the front with him and and loner and i were in the back seat scrunched back there and he's flying down this gravel mountain road uh whipping around these corners you know and so loner and i were just laughing and and having fun and it certainly was the craziest ride I'd ever had, uh, uh, you know, craziest shuttle ride. And Loner said that ranked up there as almost the craziest. It ranked up there as pretty crazy for him too. So that was that was fun. That meant a lot to me. Anyway, we survived it, of course. So anyway, these these wallets, you know, I, I really do like this. I wouldn't have been carrying it all this time if I didn't. Now, one, I guess, uh, maybe bad thing or negative thing, whatever. Uh, especially if you are not good at keeping up with wallets. I've been really good at keeping up with wallets and keys over the years. I'm just, you know, really good about that, knowing where they are. Well, one time I lost this wallet and that was at the gym. 
uh, I thought I, I was wearing some uh, gym shorts and I was on a machine that you kind of sit back a little bit and you know, you, you press, you push the, the legs, you know, uh, wait for, for leg exercises. And so I looked all around the machine when I realized my wallet was missing and I couldn't find it. Looked all over the gym where I'd been. And so I got a call later from the gym. They said, we, we did find your wallet. Someone turned it in. It was at that machine. This little wallet, thin little wallet, slid out of my pocket, went down through a crevice down inside the machine. And a lady got on the machine and was trying to adjust the seat and it wouldn't adjust. So they looked in to see what the problem was. And this wallet was, was positioned right in the spot that would keep that seat from being adjusted. And so if, if it didn't fall in that specific spot, it, my wallet would probably still be there today. And you know, they probably wouldn't know it until they closed the place down or something, you know? So, uh, that, that's maybe one bad thing is that maybe they're easy to lose, you know? So, but anyway, I've loved this wallet after five years of daily use it is holding up still pretty well. So it definitely, I think, is gonna handle your uh, use on a through hike or years of, of hiking with it. Hi, Kane. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's Uncle Paul. Well, don't run oh, from oh, me. Oh. Don't run from Big me. The guy and the little eye? Yeah. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Uh, well, yesterday I got to see the great nephews, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and Hurley, Hurley is 15 years old now, and his his back legs are giving out on him gradually. Uh, he still runs pretty well. He still goes and chases the ball uh, pretty well. So, uh, he's still got a lot of energy, but he's slowing down and, uh, he, uh, he's losing his hearing. He doesn't see as well. And I think he's got some, uh, doggy dementia going on, but he's hanging in there and, uh, he, uh, he's, he's doing pretty good. Well, uh, I hope everyone out there is doing well. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the holidays coming up. Looking forward to Thanksgiving. I hope you are too. And uh, I appreciate you watching this morning. Please like, comment, subscribe. And Lord willing, I will see you next time.